Today's lesson we are going to look at Mathematics 1613 L Hospital Rule Lesson 101 Calculus Let us start This rule is based on finding the limit of a certain function where we don't know the answer to that limit when we use direct substitution or factorizing Now what do we actually mean? We actually know the answer to this operation. 3 divided by 0 is undefined. So this answer is known. Since we know that it's undefined, it is known. Now 0 divided by 3, we know that the answer is 0. This answer is also known. We know that 4 to the power 0 is equals to 1. This answer is also known. Now suppose we use direct substitution on finding limits and then we get this type of an answer. Now this one is unknown. We don't actually know what is 0 divided by 0. It is not undefined and it is not 0. So it is unknown. We don't actually know the answer. Let's say we have another operation which is infinity divided by infinity this is also unknown so whenever we are dealing with limits and then we get these particular answers which are unknown that is where we use our hospital rule to actually find the limit of that particular function let us look at practical examples so looking at our first example we can see that when we we direct substitute we are going to have zero squared over sine 0. This will be 0 over 0. And you can see that this is not known. So L Hospital says the limit as x approaches a, it can be any number. And then we have two functions. If we substitute a into these functions and then we get an unknown answer then we apply L hospital. L hospital states that we must find the derivative of this such that when we substitute this into these derivatives we no longer get an unknown answer. And if it happens that we substitute onto the first derivative of these functions and then still the answer is unknown, we can derive again then you should know that we can derive to an extent that when we substitute we actually find an answer which is known. So that is basically our hospital rule. So let us find the derivative of these functions. So is the limit as x approaches 0? The derivative of x squared is 2x over the derivative of sine x it's cos x. So from here we can substitute. We have 2, 0 over cos 0. Then this will be 0 over cos 0. It's equals to 1. And then we can see that this is 0. So this answer is known. So the limit of this function as x approaches 0 is 0. Let us look at our second example. The limit as theta approaches 0 of sine theta over theta. You can see that when you substitute 0 here we are going to have 0 over 0 which is not known. So we need to find the derivative. 
the limit as theta approaches zero, the derivative of sine is cos theta over the derivative of theta is actually one. So from here we can substitute. This is the same as the limit theta approaches zero uh, cos theta. And then when we substitute we have cos zero this is equals to one so you can see that when we when we substitute directly from here we find zero this is not actually the answer the answer is one when we substitute a zero we are going to have substitute zero here we are going to have e to the power 0 minus e to the power 0 minus 0 over 0 squared so e to the power 0 is 1 so we are going to have 1 minus 1 minus 0 and then we do agree that we are going to have 0 0 so you can see that this answer is unknown so we apply L hospital rule now when you're applying this it's very important that you know the derivative of different functions the derivative of e to the power a this is the same as the derivative of this d over d a with respect to a this will be e to the power a multiplied by the derivative of this there is a lesson video whereby we look at different types of derivative or derivative of unusual functions so the derivative of e to the power 2x it's e to the power 2x multiplied by derivative of 2x is 2 minus this derivative of e to the power x will simply be e to the power x the derivative of x is 1 derivative of x squared is 2x now let us direct substitute and see what happens we are going to have e to the power 2 0 multiplied by 2 minus e to the power 0 minus 1 over 2 0 so this will be equals to 1 1 multiplied by 2 we are going to have 2 and then e to the power 0 is negative 1 minus 1 over 2 to the power 2 multiplied by 0 we have 0 so we can see that this we are going to have 2 minus 2 over 0 which end up being another unknown so in this case we need to apply L hospital again so we have the limit as x approaches 0 let us rewrite this so we have something like this minus e to the power x minus 1 over 2x so finding the derivative of this we take out 2 as constant and find the derivative of this which will be 2 e to the power 2x minus the derivative of this will still be this derivative of 1 it's I mean negative 1 it's negative 0 the derivative of this is 2 so if we rewrite this in the simplest form we are going to have 2 multiplied by 2 we have 4e2x minus ex over 2 let us direct substitute and see what happens we have 4e to the power 2 0 minus e to the power 0 over 2 this will be 4 multiplied by this is equals to 1 minus this is also equals to 1 over 2 so we actually have 4 minus 1 over 2 which is equals to 
3 over 2. This is the final answer. Just pause the video, work out this question, and play the video to see whether you actually understand L hospital rule. Now you can see that when we substitute infinity here, we are going to have infinity plus infinity plus 4, which is equal to infinity. We substitute here again, infinity, infinity, then this will be infinity over infinity. So we need to apply L hospital rule. Limit. X approaches infinity. We are going to have 6x plus 1 over 10x plus 8. We substitute again. We are going to have infinity plus 1, which is equal to infinity. 10 multiplied by infinity, which will be infinity plus 8. Then you are going to have infinity over infinity again. We need to repeat our hospital again. So the derivative of 6x is 6, derivative of 1 is simply 0, divided by derivative of 10x is 10, derivative of 8 is 0. So you actually have 6 divided by 10, which is equals to 3 over 5. This is actually the answer. In most cases, when you are given questions and then the question says find the limit using L hospital. In most cases, we are forced to actually apply L hospital. So without even testing, let us apply L hospital because we know that the answer will obviously be unknown. So pause the video, try to work out this question and play the video. The limit as x approaches pi over 4, you need to find the limit of, actually the derivative of this, which will be cos, no, derivative of cos is negative sine 4x multiplied by, the derivative of this is 4, plus derivative of 1 is 0, divided by, derivative of negative sine 2x, let us take the negative outside. The derivative of 2, I mean sine 2x, is cos 2x multiplied by 2. The derivative of 1 is 0. Limit. x approaches pi over 4. We have negative 4 sine 4x divided by negative 2 cos 2x. Let us try to substitute this. This will get rid of this and then we have 4 sine 4 going to put pi over 4 over 2 cos 2 pi over 4. You can see that this will get rid of this and then we have this will also get this it will be 2 divided by, then simplifying this, we are going to have something like this. 4 sine pi over 2 cos pi over 2. Now this will be 4 multiplied by sine pi is 0. And then 2 cos pi over 2 is also 0. So it's an no again. We should apply the L hospital. Limit as x approaches. Since we got rid of these negatives, we are going to take 4 as a constant. Derivative of sine for x is cos for x multiply by 4. 
all over we take 2 as a constant 2 derivative of course is negative sine 2x multiplied by 2 limit x approaches pi over 4 we can actually simplify this this is the same as 2 is 2 over 1 so 2 multiplied by this 4 we are going to get 8 cos 4x all over we no longer have this 1 so this 1 multiplied by actually we no longer have 2 we have 1 since we said 4 divided by 2 it's 2 over 1 so 1 multiplied by this 2 we are going to have 2 in fact it's negative 2 sine 2x from here let us direct substitute we start by simplifying we are going to have negative 8 over 2 is the same as 4 so we have 4 cos 4 pi over 4 we have we no longer have 2 since it's 8 over 4 8 over 2 I mean which is 4 we have sine 2 pi over 4 so this will get rid of this then this will result into 2 so we have negative 4 cos pi it's equals to negative 1 all over uh, we have this it's sine pi over 2 then sine pi over 2 is actually equals to 1 then from here this will be positive 4 over 1 which is equals to 1 so this is the answer oh no the answer is not equals to 1 but equals to 4 well that's it for this lesson video this is Bahula SJ. Thank you very much.